Welcome back to the channel. Before we start with today's step-by-step -step demonstration of the pile cap foundation design worked example, it's important to mention that this video builds upon our previous video on pile cap design. To fully understand the concepts covered in this tutorial, it's crucial to have watched the previous video first. Today, we will be focusing on a concrete column measuring 350 mm by 350 mm subjected to an axial load of 3250 kN. Our goal is to design a pile cap made of 30 37 concrete grade and reinforced with 500 newton per square millimeter high tensile steel to support the column using three cylindrical concrete piles with a diameter of 400 millimeters. We'll cover the design of the pile cap, including determining the required reinforcement, node stress check, shear check, and more. So, if you're ready, let's begin the design. First, we'll determine the required reinforcement at the base of the pile cap. To do this, we'll need to calculate the tensile force for three piles. The equation is 2 times 3250 times 10 to the power of 3 times 1200 divided by 2 divided by 9 divided by the depth of the pile cap 700 millimeters. This gives us a result of 619,047 newtons. Next, we will divide the tensile force by 0.87 and then by 500 newton per square millimeter. The calculation is 619,047 newtons divided by 0.87 divided by 500 newton per square millimeter, which results in a value of 1423 square millimeters. Therefore, the required reinforcement would be 1423 square millimeters. To ensure the stability and strength of our pile cap design, we need to reinforce it with steel bars. These reinforcement bars need to be placed in both directions, resulting in a required reinforcement of 2846 square millimeters, which is 2 times 1423 square millimeters. To meet this requirement, we will use H16 bars at 100 millimeter centers, giving us a total reinforcement of 3015 square millimeters. It's crucial to also check the minimum reinforcement required, which is 0.26 times the average width of the tension area above the pile 700 times the effective depth of the pile cap 700 millimeters and the axial tensile strength of concrete 2.9 newton per square millimeters for C3037 divided by 500 newton per square millimeter. The calculation results in a value of 739 square millimeters, which is less than the reinforcement we have provided 3015 square millimeters. Now, let's move on to checking the stress on the node. To determine the node strength, we use the following formula, 0.85 times 1 minus 30 newton per square millimeters concrete cylinder compressive strength divided by 250 multiplied by the concrete's design compressive strength, which is equal to 0.85 times the 30 newton per square millimeters divided by 1.5, resulting in 12.7 newton per square millimeters. To find the total compressive strength at the node, we perform several calculations. First, we calculate the area of the pile by finding pi times 400 squared divided by 4. Then we multiply this area by 12.7 newton per square millimeters and divide the result by 1000, which gives us 1596 kilonewtons. Next, we determine the applied force by dividing 3250 kilonewtons by 3, resulting in 1083 kilonewtons. The outcome of these calculations indicate that the applied force is less than the total compressive strength at the node, so it's deemed acceptable. Moving forward, the next step is the shear check. The applied shear force is calculated to be equal to 1083 kilonewtons, obtained by dividing 3250 kilonewtons by 3. To determine the critical shear plane, a calculation is performed to find the value of 403 millimeters. 
This result indicates that enhanced shear resistance applies. The applied shear is then calculated by multiplying 1083 kilonewtons with 403 millimeters divided by 2 divided by 700 millimeters, resulting in a value of 312 kilonewtons. In order to determine the shear resistance, another calculation is performed, which involves finding point 12 times 1 plus the square root of 200 divided by the effective depth of the pile cap 700 millimeters times 100 times the provided area of tensile reinforcement 3015 square millimeters divided by the width of 1089 millimeters divided by the effective depth of the pile cap 700 millimeters times the concrete cylinder compressive strength 30 to the cube root the outcome of this calculation is a value of 0.42 newton per square millimeters. However, it's important to note that we also need to check the minimum shear reinforcement. We find that it's 0.36 newton per square millimeters. This value is lower than the shear resistance of 0.42 newton per square millimeters, which means the shear resistance is in effect. We calculate the shear resistance to the pile cap by multiplying 0.42 by 1089 mm times 700 mm, then dividing the result by 1000, which gives us 320.2 kN. This value is greater than 312 kN, so it's acceptable. Finally, we perform a shear check around the perimeter of the column. The applied shear is 3250 kN while the shear resistance is found by performing the following calculation. 0.5 times 0.6 times 1 minus the concrete cylinder compressive strength 30 divided by 250. Multiply it by the concrete cylinder compressive strength 30 times the perimeter length of the vertical element of the superstructure. 4 times 350 times the depth of the pile cap 700 millimeters. This results in a value of 7762 kN, which is greater than the applied shear of 3250 kN. Therefore, the shear around the perimeter of the column is acceptable. That concludes our step-by-step -step demonstration of the pile cap foundation design worked example. We hope that you found this tutorial useful and informative. We covered the design process from determining the required reinforcement node stress check, shear check, and perimeter shear check. Our pile cap design has passed all the required checks, ensuring its stability and strength. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Don't forget to watch our previous video on pile cap design for a complete understanding of the concepts covered in this tutorial. Until next time, see you in the next video.